Mm-hmm. Hello, my name is Lorenzo Kirby of Kirby's Investment Club, LLC. And uh, we basically talk about news, cooking, uh, relationships, depression, anxiety. Today I'll be talking about depression because 64% of people in the world deal with depression. Even, listen, depression is, um, it can set in at any time. What you have to understand is this. Just because you're depressed doesn't mean something's wrong with you. You know? Uh, The thing is, is this. That depression can come from anything. You know, you're overthinking. You know, something you're going through. You know, and there's medication for most people. There's a, a liquid in your brain that causes the actual depression. You know, for some people. Then some people have to go through different events, the bad relationships. You know, your mother passed away, your father passed away, your child passed away. There's so many different things that actually go on. Uh, The thing is, is that you have to be strong enough to fight it. Sometimes you... I don't care who you are. You could be the toughest person in the world. When you are mourning someone or going through something, you can't fight depression. That's just because it's all up here. It's all mental. So, um, you know, I have I have friends that go through that, you know, and um, it's hard. It, it's, you know, it's nothing... It's not nothing somebody can say, okay, well, you know what? I could deal with it. No. Uh, there's people that have lost their loved ones. They think to themselves, like, you know, what could I have done different? There's nothing you could have did. Nothing. If there's an event coming, sometimes you can stop it. But if it's God willing, Is going to happen, you know. I can't, I can't answer questions about why things happen, you know. Things happen for a reason. Everything in your life happens for a reason. You know, uh, people wonder, and and they they ask God, God, why did you do this? When I love this person, or I need this person. You know, we don't know. Things just happen. So, but what I'm here today for is uh, there's people dealing with things. And uh, there's a way that you can deal with depression. Hold on one second. I tell most of the people to come to me for depression. Um, uh, What you can do, you can get a cue card. Write 10 people you love. Get another cue card. 10 things that that you like that make you happy. 10 places, things, or people, you know. People, places, and things. Now you got three cue cards. Read them. When you start getting depressed, read those cue cards. And once you get to the last cue card, you'll feel so much better. It's like something has lifted something over you. So, you... You think to yourself, like, wow. Oh. And guess what? It's all up here. That's it. It's all up here. You know what? Let me tell you something. People close to me, I have people that that deal with depression. And I have people that come see me that that, um, also deal with depression. 
And they came back to me and they said, <clears throat> they said, Lorenzo, you're a miracle worker. How do you know these things? It's the study of the brain, the body. The study of life. People go through so many things. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to go through so many things in your life. That this is just beginning. <clears throat> so, the things that you go through. You know, you want to be prepared for. It's just like. It's, it's just like a soldier going to war. He knows around that corner this is either going to be. Somebody with a gun. Somebody with bombs. You know, heavy artillery. There's something around every corner. And your weapon. You heard me right. Your weapon is love. Is faith. And is happiness. And don't let nobody ever tell you that you can't overcome something because you can. I'm gonna I'm share something with you. Uh, years ago, I had cancer, and uh, they said you'll never overcome it. The doctor said this. Doctor, don't don't be this. I looked at this doctor like he was crazy. <clears throat> he said you're never gonna walk again. I'm like, what in the world? So I'm looking at this guy like, man, you you can't tell me something uplifting? So I sat in that bed for two days. And I said, you know what? I'm a Kirby. Nothing is supposed to stop me. And that's the attitude you're supposed to have. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can get in your way. As long as you have God Faith, love, and happiness inside you. Let me tell you something. Inside your heart is the kingdom of God. That means you can do anything. You can move mountains. God created, God created man and woman to be strong, to be vibrant. So whenever you get depressed, you got to remember, you are the strongest point in life. No matter what nobody says, you can, you can conquer, you can do anything you set your mind to. And that's just it. You know, you might need a little help from here and there. You know, and taking medicine is not a bad thing. Don't look at it as it's a bad thing. It's... It's some. It's it's just like you putting all your shoes or sneakers in a movie. It's part of you now. But guess what? It doesn't define you. It doesn't make you any different than somebody else. So the basic thing here is with these cue cards and with your medication and the love and the the the. The power you have of your true self. You can do anything. You understand me? So don't. Like I said. The world is full of surprises. You know. And. I have faith in you. That you can. Be anything. You know. You can be a doctor. You can be a lawyer. You can be. You can do conquer. Anything you want to conquer. So when you wake up in the morning and you feel a little bit of sad or depressed or whatever, you grab those cue cards, read them, and that'll make you feel so much happier. There's other ways to deal with depression. Most people go for food. Now, that's not a bad thing, but you want to do, this is what you want to do. You don't want to overindulge. You want to grab something you really like a lot and stop right there. Don't overeat. You don't have to. 
Most people like a good ice cream sundae or whatever or some other type of food and enjoy it. See, it's a difference. It's a difference between eating and enjoying something. When you eat it, when you're eating, you just eat it to be eaten. But when you enjoy it, every taste and bite, you enjoy. Uh, I will be doing more of these um, videos. Um, a person uh, reached out to me a while ago. And they said that my my depression and anxiety videos uplift them and get them through the day. And I feel as though it's 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 my duty to make sure I put more of these videos out. And I will, you know, um, I'll, I'll try to do them every day. You know, um, I have a group that I deal with depression and anxiety. Uh, I haven't been with that group. Um, I usually call them on the phone, and and what we do, we have a phone conference, and it helps. You know, uh, I do so many different things. You know, uh, my thing is, I, I would I want to help everybody. I know I can't help everybody, but my thing is, I want to reach as many as people as many as many people I can. Because I feel as though that this is what God put me on the planet for. To help individuals that can't help themselves. And to build their morale. To build their mindset. To build what, what's already there. Sometimes a person doesn't realize they're stronger than what they are. You know. And that this is what the world is about. You know. For others to relay a message that brings the power to another individual. For them to create a bigger stand in life. And that's what it's about. So thank you for listening and have a great night.